What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video from Feature Tech. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and setting up the Winston Privacy Filter. Let's get started. So before we get deeper into the video, let me just talk about what is the Winston Privacy Filter. So I've been shopping for a VPN now for a while and I came across the Winston Privacy Filter and I decided to purchase it and give it a shot. Now, some of the things it does is it blocks malware from adult content. So if you have kids in the household, you can use Winston to monitor and uh, you know, block any adult content out there from your children. It also blocks a lot more ads. So that way you're not seeing a ton of ads with every website you're going to. And it also claims to be 10 times faster than your traditional VPN. Not to mention that of course it does encrypt your internet to make it safe from any hackers or any, anybody trying to intrude on your network or steal your information. So enough talking, let's get to the unboxing. So opening up the unboxing here, it's very straightforward, just slide it out. Look at that. That looks really nice. Okay, we remove that. And right away you're greeted with the Winston device itself, the privacy filter a kickstand and then back here you have all the uh let me try to get it to you in a better light so you have the two ethernet ports and where the power adapter connects so we're going to put this aside and then you have the quick start guide again we're going to go over the setup so no need to worry about that next you have the power adapter Then you have your purple ethernet cord and the black ethernet cord. Okay, so now let me show you how to set up your Winston privacy filter. So right now I'm using the Winston app, which ironically I do not recommend using. And the reason why is that my Winston was never recognized with the app, but rather recognized when I go uh, on their web page through my laptop or through Safari on my phone. But for this example, for this setup, I'm just gonna go through the app just to show you, um, just to show you how it works. So you have to press on this purple plus. Once you press on the plus, it's gonna bring you to this screen saying, welcome to Winston, begin setup. What you're gonna do is press begin setup After that, it's gonna bring you to a page where it's talking about what's included with your Winston. So for this instance, what we're gonna do is just press next because we did receive everything that it says. And then again, it's just going over everything that you're getting. Next, it's gonna ask if you have a separate modem and router or you have a combination of modem router or you have fiber internet service. So in my case, I do have a combination modem router. So for this reason, I'm gonna be pressing next and we're gonna be using only one ethernet cable, which is gonna be connected right here. So I already have the cable connected, but I'm just gonna disconnect it for this example so I can better show you. remove the kickstand okay so we're gonna be using this LAN in or WAN in I'm sorry port and we're gonna be connecting that Ethernet code from here to one of the Ethernet ports on your modem slash router two and one which is my case now these two there's two Ethernet ports in case you have a separate modem and router but again, in my case, I have a two in one, so I'm just gonna be using this one. So now beginning the setup, it is 
indicating that in order for you to start the setup, you have to connect the Winston to the power outlet and actually turn it on. So once you do that, there's gonna be a golden amber color and it's gonna be down here. So if you see that little uh, circle down here, so that's where it's gonna light up. So we're just gonna wait until we set everything up. And then after we're done with this step, we're gonna go next. And then it's gonna say to connect your Winston WAN in. And it's again, it is giving me the example to connect the WAN in ethernet port, ethernet uh, cable because I have a two-in-one modem router. So if you have two separate devices, one router, one modem, you're gonna be utilizing the two ethernet cords. But in my instance, I'm just gonna be using the one. And once you do that, you're gonna plug it in, wait a few seconds, and then the light should be turning or pulsating purple or green. And then once you connect that ethernet cord, you're then gonna completely unplug your router and then wait 30 seconds and plug it back in. And once you plug it back in, wait for it to completely boot up and your Winston should be getting set up. Now, when I try to do it through the app, I get greeted with this. Now, while my Winston is currently disconnected, it still says Winston detected on your network and that's where it stops right there. But when I fully connect this Winston privacy filter, the, the web browser application through the internet recognizes the Winston and I'm able to utilize it right away. So I think there's an issue with the app clearly because it is only just saying Winston detected on your network, even though I'm not using it, the Winston is disconnected. So, it's definitely something they need to work on. Uh, but as of right now, I don't recommend using the app to pair the Winston. You might have a different experience than I do, but try to utilize Connect It. Follow the steps through here, but confirm installation through your internet browser. So yes, you can adjust the privacy settings right here. And for this instance, we're gonna click on filters and filters, you can go in and adjust the filters of what it should block or what it should whitelist. It's all adjustable through here. And if you go back, again, we can go back to the dashboard. And on the dashboard, it tells you that the filtering mode is on. You can also disable your Winston. So if you don't want it running for any reason, you can disable it right here and it's telling you that the privacy mesh network is enabled. And then if we update this, usually it tells you the speed it's operating at. And here it gives you the percentage of requests that are allowed or blocked or whitelisted right here. So majority of the requests that are running through my network, I allow. And then there's a small you know, part of that I blocked and then if you keep going it gives you a blocked domain you know tracking so you can see the domains that it's blocking and if you see any domains here that you want it to allow you can again go back into the settings and allow them so this was my unboxing and setup video for the Winston privacy filter I hope you guys enjoyed the video I will be making a follow-up video in about 30 days to give you guys my honest review on this. So if you did enjoy again, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you have a great day. Take care.